Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, I am going to start how you can create a React Native first program, first application using React Expo Go CLI library. So before creating this application, we should understand that we required a emulator or physical mobile for displaying or running our applications. So here I have Android Studio. If you does not know what is Android Studio, please go and download this because it required for Android application development. You can use Android Studio to display or run your application that is required. Otherwise, you can use lots of emulators also. Those are available in the market. You, you execute yourself your emulator which you want and try to check that it, it can be used with the react native or not but it is 100% uh, uh, tested that this hand, uh, android em studio emulator link with react native application and react application use this if you are using uh, mac os or mac system and there you have a x code for ios application development then you require the emulator of Xcode for iOS application development. I have a window application and I have Android Studio, so I will give demo on this simulator. Just you have to install Android Studio. If you are aware with Android application development, you know better. But if you don't aware, just just install, st run, install it, and uh, the installation is very very simple. Just double click it and next 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 next, and it will be installed. Then you see these buttons here and go to this SDK library there and in this library if you are first then please go to this tool here and try to check that we have installed the emulator or not you see that we have these tools here you see I have this all installed here SDK tools these are the sites linked with this these are the platforms you see that what platform you required you have to check it so these are the latest one if I go to this show platform and you will see that uh, I have installed here this one SDK 32 and I have the emulator that is Google API Intel it's Atom 64 system is so that I have installed I have 31 library also I have 30 library also it if you required you can use whatever you want and it depend on you so remember that I am using the latest one here 12L and this is the beta version so I am not testing this so here I am using that 12L and that SDK 32 I am using and I am using this emulator that if you have not installed so you can install any emulator which you required so here I am just showing you this check this and click on apply ok and apply automatically it will download it will take time for downloading I have already downloaded this then these SDK I have download and uh, if you are new to Android Studio and please download this also Intel x86 emulator accelerator it will increase the speed of emulator if you have a AMD system then install this because I have a Intel so I am not installed it so far but if you have a AMD system so you install this and enable the you can say the virtual environment from the bias also so that is separate process and how you can do this i have a separate videos and you can see lots of video on android with java android with kotlin android jetpack compose so you can see my video first and second video how you can create this how you can install it i have explained it on those video also then once you install it just click on this emulator you see i have created it if you want to create just click on this create device and you can create whatever the version or whatever the emulator you require just follow the steps next 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 and you will automatically have this type of emulator i have given the name emu1 so this is the one and if you click here it will execute it will start emulator this emulator will come here you see it will take time for starting also so you have to enable this or otherwise if you are not enabling this if you will run this expo or some your command from here automatically this emulator will run by this 
uh, your react library also but better to run this and then we start to create first react application using expo so what are the rules you see that we have go to there and first of all is say npx create expo app and give the name then go to directory and start this so we just do this i go to this here and i say cls you see we say npx create expo app and give the name here i say first uh, expo app remember that and give the name in a small letter then click here enter and if after pressing enter if it is asks you to install create expo app library so please confirm it by pressing yes why because uh, uh, you know that first time if you have not installed this library then it will ask to install create expo app library so confirm it by pressing a y and after that it will create this application as you are seeing that on my screen downloading the library installing the library and trying to create my first expo project it will take little bit of time now you see that it is created now we have to cd to the my application folder cls here now you see that next step is npm start so as i start this then automatically my application will start you see this is the application and we will see what is the meaning of these in next videos here we are just starting and you see that expose start command is executed and it will take little bit of time for starting this and here in my emulator i will have this application so i just keep it now you see starting this platform is started now we have a option to open this application on web on android on ios because here i have a android platform so it's showing me android and web platform you and if you have a apple system then it will show you ios also so a if i press a it will run on android so i have this emulator here so if i press hey i see i press a here so it will execute opening on android and this application will execute here on android you see it is clean now and this application will run on this emulator and this automatically is catch this emulator name is emu1 you see emu1 is there so automatically this application will stall here you see now it is starting for stalling this on android emulator it take little bit of time because i am recording also so because of this memory consumption of recording application plus emulator plus react so it show so slow speeds you see we have a output open up android.js to start working on app you see this same is written here and here i just write welcome to react expo go cli environment you see environment to create mobile application like this you see that the speed here as i save it and automatically it will update on here also you see refreshing you see welcome to react expo go cli environment to create mobile application because of the recording and the lot of memory is consuming right now in my system it's showing slow speed otherwise it's just a second i save it and automatically it refresh here so this is the way here to create a react expo you can say application first application and how you can link it with here with emulator you can see here uh, one more uh, command we have here uh, i just close it here server you see and i say directly i say here npm run android you see if i say like this so it will automatically check the android and it will start this and it execute on android once again you see it will execute so now it's saying cannot connect to metro the server it not able to connect to the server but now starting metro builder and it will connect it again so this is the second command to execute or run this on expo environment 
but from here I will only run on Android not on web I show you now how you can run on web also so you see once again we server we have started here and it running the application on Android you see is the second command npm run Android and it will execute on Android you see once again we have output suppose I want to run it on uh, web so I have to press W for open on web and I have uh, uh, I can run also npm run web so here I press W and you see it will ask to install this these I copy this because these are required to run it on web environment so I create here a new command prompt and, uh, and then I go to my application first react expo here I press this and install it so these are required for running this on web means on browser so it will take a little bit of time to install it so now you see that we have installed these library so I close this so here once again I have to start this application because the library is installed freshly so we say npm start and it will start once again starting this metro server builder run now we have the w so I press here w and you see it will try to execute the application on web starting you see running on web you see that we have output on the browser also welcome to react expo go cli environment to create mobile application same we have written here so we have this output on browser also so you see that is the advantage in expo that we can test on browser also because you 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 know that uh, when i am running it on emulator it take lot it taking lot of time and my system is also slow because of this so i can test my rest of application on browser also and same if i want to test on mobile i can test on mobile also so that is the ad biggest advantage uh, here by using expo library if i am not uh, uh, means using the native support hardware support in my application then i can use it so if i uh, you can say uh, welcome to react expo cli environment to run uh, react mobile application on browser like this i update some information and you see that automatically it will refresh here also you see automatically it refreshing and you see on browser it's a very very powerful library to build mobile applications you see as i update here and automatically we reflect on browser also so that is the biggest advantage of this now i explain you in this video that how you can create your first react expo without just need of any previous experience of mobile application development just follow my steps which i given here and you see that automatically we have output on browser also we have this output on emulator also and you can attach your hardware your mobile also physical mobile on that also you can have this output it depend on you where you want to use it so these are the way to run your first expo library we will also understand what is the meaning of these file and directory structures in next videos so that's all in this video see you in next video also for learning how you can create a first react native application and if you like it please do subscribe thank you for watching this video